Carol. Hi. Um, I have three questions for you. Yes. Uh, one, would you have rather be smart or attractive? <laughs> smart as in intelligent. Uh -huh. uh, smart. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Smart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do you think so? I like a way of reasoning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. The second one. If your hubby could have three wishes right now, in this moment, what would they be? To have a, a, a home, our own home, so that we stop paying rent. To have a very lucrative business, like run a resort. Yes, not just for business, but for future, because I think he loves good life. He'd want to be that old guy who would enjoy his old age in a relaxed, refreshing way. And uh, uh, his, his last wish is for this second phase of life, never to lose his marriage. Yeah. Right now. Uh, uh. Three. Yeah. Okay, one, I know we are looking for a bigger house where we can separate our two, ch uh, two children for them to have a room each because they are grown ups now, they are going to 14. Um, she would love uh, for our marriage to obviously to get stronger. Yeah, yeah, that one. Mm. I would say she would want my uh, or, or our income to increase, both of us, because we plan to have a home to build a home as our first project after the wilderness. The last one. If you had Habi could be anywhere in the world right now, where would he? Why? Anywhere in the world, uh -huh. as in places, yes. places in the world. Wow, I've not really thought about where you would really want to be in the world, but I think you just want to be in Kenya. <laughs> I think she'd want to be next to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh -huh. mm. by my side, uh -huh. right here. Mm. Wow. Mm. So if you're in Kenya, she's in Kenya. Yeah. If she wants to go abroad, we, we, will, uh, we'll go with her. Wow. Yeah, that is our desire. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. We are back. We are on it. This is Kapo's Wheel Show and this is where we ride down our love wheel. While we are alive, for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. And I can assure you the story is getting hotter. That is why I had to remove my coat because it is hot. It is hot. And... This guy called 21, air conditioner. But it is well, it is okay with thank God. So my name is Willie Kinyash, the undisputed now kipenda doctor love. Sisi hapa kazi ni kutibu mapenzi. Gaduras, they are here and we continue with their story from where we stopped last Friday. And by the way, did you enjoy their story? What did you learn? Let us know as you continue. Even listening to this story from now, the challenges they faced through or they went through and reached to a point now they separated and how they came back after 10 years, after a whole decade. Imagine you separated for a whole decade 
and then you come back again what a matter of love how did they reconcile and all this time where were the children you know these are the questions that will be answered in this program as you listen to this story karibuni sana and this is wema tv the voice of hope yes sasa <clears throat> tuliachia pale pa challenges challenges there were challenges that you guys were going through and now <coughs> one challenge mm. another mm. challenge another challenge and then it reached to a point you decided this thing is not doable at what point did you come to realize this thing is not doable maybe we can mm. start with moses okay i think i can also add something about challenges mm-hmm. that is very important yeah um i still insist marriage is for two people yes. the two of you mm. so every decision you make you make it when you are the two of you mm-hmm. it's good to listen to other sources for information mm-hmm. then you bring it back but the final decision comes from the two of you yes. i say this because uh, every marriage you always have a challenge of uh, people whispering mm-hmm. you as an individual mm-hmm. hearing so much things mm-hmm. i will say this because uh, the ch- one of our, uh, the, uh, one of the many challenges we had mm-hmm. it's true i'm mm-hmm. very close to my mom mm-hmm. mini last born mm-hmm. mama's boy but uh, mm-hmm. and i am proud of it mm-hmm. because uh, she took care of me mm-hmm. i was the last one to leave the house mm-hmm. so we are very close mm-hmm. uh, so any time that i would be with my mom mm-hmm. and she would feel uneasy because she is she, she is a human mm-hmm. let uh, i believe couples now approach the other person mm-hmm. just tell them openly hapa mm-hmm. na feel uh, kunaenda hivi mm-hmm. Carol comes from a family of sisters mm-hmm. and she's the last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always uh, complained within myself. Mm-hmm. I felt her sister because she has grown up with those sisters. Mm-hmm. They are very close. Mm-hmm. They are and there is no way you can break that tie. Mm-hmm. The same way you cannot break a tie between me and my mom. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I always felt as if she's going too much to her sister. listening to our sisters so much mm-hmm. now that i'm wise i've realized mm-hmm. always take time to ask the person mm-hmm. because we, you might find her saying something or making a decision mm-hmm. and i'll base it umetoka mm-hmm. kusikiza you have from the other, from your sisters mm-hmm. they are the ones that have advised you mm-hmm. whether it's true or not true mm-hmm. get wisdom on how to talk to that person mm-hmm. always any time you are feeling something is not working right mm. just approach the person mm-hmm. i feel kuna uh, ndaivi naivi only and also shut off the many noises from workmates mm. uh, estate friends mm. neighbors mm. always learn to approach your your friend mm-hmm. uh, talk to them directly mm. and say this is the challenge mm. yeah and also i can say we we didn't have a best couple to turn to mm-hmm. it's very important when you are getting married have a married couple, couple mm-hmm. to back you up so Be- when when you are doing the wedding yeah you didn't have a best couple we have a best couple but they were not married oh so you choose your friend and uh, her choose her friend yeah Oh. they were Because married to different to, to, men, uh, to different people. to different so people so your friend and his, his friend, friend. friend yeah. my friend uh, is a widow mm. uh-huh. yeah but the the cousin was the best mm. couple yeah mm. so, so that my friend is friend mm. okay mm. so i say that because when things are getting hot mm. you must have someone mm-hmm. you can turn to yes not uh, at times even the church might not get it mm. go to that best couple mm. someone that you are very open to yes. that you can talk to mm. to because of some of these small issues mm. na, and you'll get someone telling you ah you need to kidogo sana mm. Mm. yeah mm. and so I, i think what you're saying this is a very strong point because 
uh, especially nowadays I've seen young people mm -hmm. when they are getting married they want to there are some who are even going for uh you see a young man going for another young man who is not even married married yeah which exactly. is sad mm -hmm. but we need to have mentors people we can always run to yeah. when you are going through issues mm -hmm. now this is where the best couple comes comes in, in yeah and they they are acting as our parents these yeah, are our parents exactly. that when we are having issues mm -hmm. i mean i can't call my biological mom yeah. i can't call my biological father yeah. but i can call this couple because they are our parents when it comes to the issue of marriage marriage a true. very strong point right yeah. there mm -hmm. yes true mm -hmm. yeah so now these are the challenges you you went through yeah and now at uh, what point now did the date came and you guys said this thing is not this, doable let's uh, let's forget about it hmm. i think there was so much pressure mm -hmm. uh, it's true i was working somewhere in that river mm -hmm. now carol tried getting a meeting where we could sit down with my mom mm -hmm. And as a, as a man, eh, hakuna vile ndaenda hiyo mkutano. Naenda kuambiwa nini. So, I kept on getting home late because committing at the river back to Umoja. Mm -hmm. eh, and things piled up. Mm -hmm. the pro, one of the mistakes we did, things piled up and we were not solving them. Mm -hmm. So, when uh, things were exploding, mm -hmm. ilikuwa inatoka na kila maali. Now, I think at that time, that's why I'm saying about whispering, even whispering in your own mind, mm -hmm. you yourself telling yourself things. The night she, mm -hmm. she says that mm -hmm. the children were crying, mm -hmm. coincidentally, that night I was talking with a lady friend. Mm -hmm. So she hid somewhere and listened to the conversation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now, so when you allow so much whisper, mm -hmm. uta build a big castle, yani, mm -hmm. utona ini, this is a, a whole relationship happening here. Yeah. And it was just a conversation. Mm -hmm. When you allow so much whisper, when I see her a lot with her sister, mm -hmm. where she, maybe she, 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 she sees me visiting my mom so often, mm -hmm. if you allow whispering so much, mm -hmm. you'll, it extend to a limit where you'll just make a conclusion. Mm. I say that also because by the time now things had gotten so much to handle, mm. she told me she's moving out. Mm. She came to, she visited my mom, mm. gave her, told her what she has decided. Mm. Coincidentally, as she was moving out, she was going, she was changing jobs. Mm. I also said, you see, even the sisters have already organized another job for her. Mm -hmm. So everything was just in a role to Missouri because now you are justified, you see. Mm. I didn't know about the new job. I didn't know about this. Mm. So, so they have been working behind my back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so much can, your mind can play on you mm. when you allow the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And let's bring in Carol. Mm. So all this time, there are, there are these challenges at that point you said, I think I'm tired, I'm not doing this anymore. Mm. I didn't get the question. At what point did you reach and th that moment he's saying that you went to to his uh, mom and said, now okay. I'm, oh, I I'm got done. there. Yes. All right. Yeah, it's uh, that suspicion uh, of, of him talking to, paying attention to someone, which I thought, because they spoke for long, so now I was thinking that must be the person. Again, also for me, I would tell people out there i think for married for families even if you are to talk don't call somebody during the wee hours it will create unnecessary suspicion because now i came to learn later that 
this was just a friend, but I'm wondering why would a friend call late in the night and spend almost an hour? The children need attention. Mm -hmm. You see, the friend is the one who made me too. The mm -hmm. devil used their friend. Yeah. So again, mm -hmm. ladies and men out there, mm -hmm. I think we should be sensitive to families. Mm -hmm. You have a whole day. Mm -hmm. Don't call at night now to try to find out how has the day been. I think that's the time for the family to do that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to your question. <laughs> mm -hmm. So because of that incident, I really wanted to, 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 I mean, I was piling up, like he's saying, building up cases, you know. But I, I thought this is the uh, the mother was the only parent that was left in our life. My mama had died. All our parents, she was the only authority figure. And the same sister, like the devil is whispering, but my sisters were giving me words. I'd already told them. Hey. I I told one of my sisters that I'm very close to. She's like a mother. I told her. I've been having challenge in my marriage and I think I want to move out. She told me you can't do that. If you are, what are these challenges that are making you to move out? At least try and talk to the parent that you have in your family and that's your mom, my mother-in-law. Then I, 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 was, I was able to heed to that advice. That's how I went to see my mother-in-law to book for an appointment. I told him. But I guess because of all these tensions, suspicions, mm -hmm. like he's saying, the man in him, you don't want to give it a priority. So we try to, I try to seek for audience through the mother, but uh, the meeting didn't, he did not come for the meeting. And uh, the enemy would whisper, of course, that you see, he doesn't care. You've even called for a meeting. He's not coming. Mm -hmm. He has refused to come. Yeah, so so then I said, no, enough is enough. I've tried my best. I've tried my best. There's a lot of tension. You feel like you'll die. Yeah, you just need a break. I told him I wanted a break, and he said, it's okay. I think it is in order for us to take that break. And that's how I, I left to the children to go and take our long break that took 10 years. <laughs> 10 years? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> when you say we did not know it will take 10 years. Uh -huh. You don't say I'll take a break for 10 years. You thought maybe a break for one week or a month or something. Mm -hmm. As in, you just want to, you know. So so you are the one who moved out? Yes, or he, with the children. Mm -hmm. I moved out. With the out. children? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. And uh, he was left there? Yeah, I moved no. out with the clothes. I didn't carry. I understand Anything. I mean, from the nature of my work, I've come to learn that people, who, I wish I only knew who swept the house. Yes. <laughs> and furniture electronics. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm a good girl. <laughs> yeah, that, hey, yes, you are. <laughs> only I, packed I, the I, bags, I, children stuff, uh -huh. left everything. Mm -hmm. All our wedding gifts, what electronics. Yeah. Yeah. 21 is not married, but he's nodding his head, confirming that you are a good girl. <laughs> that didn't carry anything. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, those things were very well taken. <coughs> Ten years down the line, yes. everything is intact. They were not sold. Wow. Can you so imagine? he's also a good man. Yeah, we are both good. <laughs> <laughs> he took care of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. When, when you said it's okay, you can, we can have a break. Yeah. What was in your mind? Mm, at that time, because of so many pressure. Mm -hmm. I also felt I wanted a break. Ni sawa mnaweza enda kweli. Kwa niko nini? Sita wabembeleza. It's true even as we were doing one of our counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't expect it to take that long. Mm -hmm. uh, we would assume labda atarudi. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And maybe on the other hand she also expected that anikujia. Mm -hmm. But when everyone has taken their own corner yeah. and they are standing firm, mm. things can take. Uh, they say uh, you you let the devil sit on the driver's seat. Yes, he'll take you so far. Mm. You give him an inch, yes. he'll take you a mile. Mm. Yeah, we have learned it the hard way. Mm -hmm. So I was okay at that time. Mm -hmm. You can leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the baki. Mm. Mm. 
did you ever after one year one year is gone yeah. did you ever thought of <laughs> this is what I can say. <laughs> the first eight months mm -hmm. were the hardest. Mm -hmm. And the man in me, Kukaki Mwanaume. Eh, it was the toughest time. Mm -hmm. I almost went into depression. Mm -hmm. For almost eight to nine months, mm -hmm. I was not feeding well. Mm. You know very well you me, you are missing your people. Yeah. But uh, Wendy, mm. I lost weight till uh, Kabisa. Mm -hmm. It was painful. Mm -hmm. But later one year, mm -hmm. uh, Nikabaki is strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and life continued. Mm -hmm. If you're Kim Chez, I think we, almost, we didn't speak for almost one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that is the first year. Uh, the first year was mm -hmm. the toughest. The rest, I sailed through. Mm -hmm. Behind your mind, you know, you have a family somewhere, mm. but they, you will never forget your children mm. or your wife. Mm. <laughs> yeah. you, 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 you may try and say ni your total, mm -hmm. but you remember all of them. Mm. Yeah, I would mm -hmm. always think about them. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, pray about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Uh, the, the, this first eight months, you're battling with that uh, we almost battled with the uh, depression yeah your mom was your was like your best friend where, where was she at that moment now at that time when she was leaving i was doing some job in at river mm -hmm. so i also kept off so many things mm -hmm. so many people mm -hmm. and that is another mistake mm -hmm. when you're hurting mm -hmm. uh, i didn't go for church for almost more than a year Mm -hmm. uh, when you are working outside Nairobi, mm -hmm. you are with strangers. Mm -hmm. In fact, they have no clue what is happening. Mm -hmm. The guys that I used to work with, they want to join in in happen. Mm -hmm. So even uh, uh, some of them would joke, "Eh, na yoki tuna kupeleka, iyo ni mshipi umezungusha maratatu." So you decide to keep alone mm. and that is a strategy of the enemy mm. you don't talk to your friends mm. you don't talk to your families mm -hmm. in fact they are part of it kwanza walini chuja walini eka kando they disowned you <laughs> they disowned so they are part of the fight <laughs> i am facing right yeah, now yeah they are mm. part of the course mm. so number one mistake Mm -hmm. Never keep to yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's why you hear church saying, when you're inside a church, mm -hmm. join a group, mm -hmm. join a ministry. Mm -hmm. Don't just go for the church service mm -hmm. and after the service walk out. Mm -hmm. Join a Bible study group. Mm -hmm. Join the men's fellowship, women's mm -hmm. uh, youth fellowship, mm -hmm. women uh, choir. Mm -hmm. So that out of that group, mm -hmm. someone may be quick enough to notice mm -hmm. somebody is not around. Yeah. They are no longer there. Amenyamaza kwa group. Mm. Can someone go and find out what is happening? Yeah. So when you and also when you find someone deliberately mm -hmm. putting up walls, mm. they might put those high walls, mm. but just ask for God's wisdom mm. on how to penetrate and find out really what is happening. Mm. But whenever someone is alone and silent. Mm -hmm. They are undergoing a tough season. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. And the enemy there mm. can really work on you. Mm -hmm. You can do mistakes. You hear that? Give him an inch, he'll take you a mile. Yeah. You will find yourself doing stupid things mm. until mm. you wonder, wow, mm. is this me? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Carol, one year is gone. Mm. This guy is nowhere to be found. He's not even calling. What came to your mind? We are now totally done. Mm -hmm. I I believe when he was battling the eight months, mm -hmm. when you separate, it's like death. You never know until you uh, bury that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like you're mourning, you're grieving and mourning. So me, I was. You're grieving. mourning someone who is alive. Yes. It's like death, actually. It is like death, yeah. but so this death person is alive. So death does not even alive. give you time to reason. Mm. You, it's, it's like you're not a sober person, actually. Mm. You're not your, like yourself. Yeah, so 
We even went for some counseling. We went mm -hmm. to church, mm -hmm. seek for counseling with a pastor. That time when you're dead, somebody has, you know when some people blame um, the dead. Why did you die and leave? So why did all this happen? You're bitter with, I was very bitter with him. So I don't think I even realized the one year because I was preoccupied with my mourning and grieving. To an extent that I didn't even think of, does he call me? I was feeling all those things. He doesn't call. I was feeling rejection. I was feeling like culture. Why did I make this mistake of getting married? All sorts of things come to you. So you are preoccupied with a lot of bitterness and negativity that you don't even think I'm missing that person. You are blaming them in any mm -hmm. case. You are you're having a blame game. Mm -hmm. You are really blaming, blaming and cursing. Cursing him, cursing the mother, cursing what? Why am I single? You are not planned to be single. So mm -hmm. you are nursing your, your bitterness and wounds and your pain. Mm -hmm. That... I don't think, you're just in the blame, bitter season and forgiveness season that you're not really yourself. You're not never normal. I don't think you're normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Separation is the worst thing that I will ever wish to an enemy, mm -hmm. the worst enemy, never, mm -hmm. never in my life. Mm -hmm. Because when children are affected, so that one year, I don't even know if, how, if, if, how it uh, passes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you are busy. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, having changed the jobs, I was not performing in my new job. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And it involved a lot of report writing and somebody has to edit. Mm -hmm. So whoever was editing and you are new in the job, you passed your interview, uh, like, hey, how did you even get here? You are sure you know how mm -hmm. to write reports? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then suddenly after I've healed, after maybe that one year, the next year, I'm myself. My performance has improved. I remember my boss even called me mm. and asked, why are you deliberate about, about uh, writing bad reports? Suddenly you are serious with your work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I just broke down. Thank God she, she's a lady. Mm -hmm. I broke down and cried, knowing why I was not writing good reports. I was sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to talk much. You know, time can really fly. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize the one year I was gone because I was busy nursing my wound. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So all, all this time, you're with the children? Yes. Doesn't even call? He came at kids. some point. Mm -hmm. He... he but all the 10 years, mm -hmm. he was conspicuously missing in our life, mm -hmm. which I really now felt after healing, healing, mm -hmm. I felt, eh, this guy does not even check on his children. Mm -hmm. Is he, am I literally a widow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he would just once, like a year, once or twice, he would just disappear. Mm -hmm. He never felt it. Eh? And uh, the children were affected. The people who are also very affected. You know, people think when you have children, the issues are no longer about the two of you. It's a family issue. Mm -hmm. So you are concentrating on, oh, Moses wrong me, Carol wrong me. You're mm -hmm. forgetting Joshua and Favor here, the mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. They are the most affected victims. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing is that they can't express themselves. They were only two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So they will regress. Mm -hmm. If they were learning potty training, they will start to swing on themselves. Mm -hmm. They're trying to communicate things. They're also sick. Yeah. But they can't say, Mom, mm -hmm. where's dad? Why are we suddenly mm -hmm. on our own? Mm -hmm. It will you will see those signs through their their way of life. Mm -hmm. They've regressed back to childhood. When I somebody will not see there. They will pee on themselves mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. They would be uh, feel a bit isolated. Yes, they will go to play. They're growing, but especially our daughter would always be play kidogo, come back to the house, 
she liked being on her own. Mm. And even the speech, they're learning to talk. You realize our boy would even stammer until I was so scared. Whoa. Mm. It's going to be a stammerer because you've messed their stage of development. Mm. They're emotionally, psychologically destroyed. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yes. But when you see that at some point you felt and asked like, Am I really a widow? Did you ever thought of remarrying? Rem okay, my faith, mm -hmm. the church I go to, mm -hmm. they do not uh, allow uh, the doctrine that, uh, that I am in the Bible that I have mm -hmm. says uh, unless your spouse dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So because of my, my faith helped me. Oh. My faith helped me, but over the years, around the, almost during this time, the tenth year, mm -hmm. is when I was like, "Ah, oh, enough of that faith. Now <laughs> I need a man in my life. Uh -huh. Am I going to age?" Uh -huh. You know, I was thinking of my old age. What? Ndakwa shosho single. You know, <laughs> you need that old man to talk to. Yes. I mean, you are old. They are old. You are not working. You are just there. Uh -huh. I used to think of my future by then and say, "Hey." <coughs> my goodness, all these years I've gone, one time I'm going to be a shosho, single shosho. Uh -huh. uh -huh. In my old day, you know. Mm -hmm. Then now I started thinking, I can ex And friends are telling you, what? It's been many years. Mm -hmm. Now talking of Canada, I have some friends in Canada. Like, Come to Canada, we live, Canada, we live and get your guy. Uh -huh. now, if they're not in Kenya, you come. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. because they were concerned, actually. Mm. Concerned because now he was not in our life. Mm -hmm. Not even... Uh, I realized later on now when we came back together, mm -hmm. I realized he was paying some upkeep and not telling me because we are mad at each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type who never checked my balance. By God's grace, God... <laughs> Supplied until I was wow, never you broke don't even to. Realize. <laughs> so I wow. never realized by the ah. way that some money was added into the account. Mm -hmm. So he was saying during the comeback, mm -hmm. maybe we will state about that. Mm -hmm. He was telling me one of the things that triggered his memory and to miss us so much was when God was working in our restoration, mm -hmm. he bumped into into receipts, mm -hmm. bank. What are they called? Sleeps. Bank no slips. slips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you used. He stopped. He started and maybe realized I was not even checking. Mm -hmm. So he stopped. <laughs> maybe he was doing that because he didn't. He thought I would take him to court. <laughs> to court. <laughs> <laughs> when he realized that oh, yeah, this lady is not following up, he's not even calling even to appreciate. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. not even asking for the upkeep. Yes. Yeah, but he he said when he. He looked at the bank slip and was like, wow, I was a responsible father and all that. Anyway, that's for another day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but, uh, yeah, so he was absent in, in our life even financially. And that's why my friends were concerned. Mm -hmm. They were telling me to relocate for greener pastures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Because now I was the sole breadwinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moses, yeah. was there something speaking to you or would you feel guilty that I have children somewhere but I don't take care of them? <laughs> yeah, I was guilty. <laughs> I would feel it so much mm -hmm. because Manzi, you miss your kids. Mm -hmm. That's uh, you normally say I cannot even wish it for my worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Separation is so bad. It will torture you, torment you. Ukijaribu mm kujifanya -hmm. mwanaume, you are a lady, I have money, I can take care of the children. Si lazima tumedo. Let them watch our kai uko. Because uh, it would always hit me. And I would tell myself, Apana, she's the one to call. Uh, I won't call. Wacha nioneshane, I'm quite okay kwanza good readings. Uh, I have my peace. I can go home whatever time I want. I have, I, I'll watch as many movies as I want. Mm -hmm. I just want my space. Mm -hmm. So I, even when I was doing all these things, working outside Nairobi, 
I would still remember them one way or another. Each morning utakumbuka because now you are waking up alone kwa bed. Hakuna mtu. Even if you have a the, the next room unajua ina mtu. Mm. But I shifted houses. I went to a smaller house mm. because I didn't want the memories. Uh-huh. Staying in that house was mm. disturbing me mm. so much. Mm. So I looked for a smaller house. Mm. So I thought about them. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's for her to call. Mm-hmm. She's the one who left. Yeah? So for you, you're <laughs> saying, I mean, <laughs> if she want to come back, she can come. <laughs> she can come. And uh, her, I am that lady. Mm. Mm. And so right there, I, I, I don't know whether I'll call it pride or... Pride. Pride, uh-huh. foolishness. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Mm. That I am standing on my grounds. Mm. I, I, can't, I can't call if she's not calling. calling yeah. And the other person, I can't call if he's not. You see? And so you start fighting. And or you you having a battle within you mm. because of pride. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Mm. Uh-huh. Pride. Pride. Pride in marriage. <laughs> it uh, disturbed me. It blinded me so much mm-hmm. because I would not call. In fact, I would make a visit mm-hmm. after she calls. Mm. That's when I would attempt now to go and uh, pick the children mm-hmm. or see them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then when you are holding anger, mm. anger is so bad, mm. it will take you so far mm. uh, somewhere you didn't want to sail. Mm. But there, anger can can hang on to you. Mm. You can hold it for mm. so many years mm. until when you get that deliverance and ask yourself, you come back to your senses. Mm. You listen, hey, seriously, mm-hmm. isn't it Vitundogo? Because right now, mm-hmm. We are both in our 40s, mm. and it's true, life starts in, uh, at 40. Mm. We are so mature, mm. uh, spiritually, age-wise. Mm. At times when you look at the issues that separated us, mm-hmm. you wonder, eh, in kitu kidogo sana. So maturity helps mm. so much. Mm. Now when you get uh, a view mm-hmm. and uh, you see equally, mm. Uh, pride, mm. yeah. Go and fight for your family, by the way. Mm. I would say to those people that are separated, mm-hmm. whatever the reason, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter how big, mm-hmm. always try and keep in touch. Mm-hmm. Because the longer you prolong that silent, mm-hmm. get worse. Mm. Because uh, so much has happened to us separately. Mm-hmm. Things that we cannot even mention here. Mm. Because when you are silent, mm. unagongo uko. Mm. Uneza uneshana. By the time I'm coming to pick the children, mm-hmm. kuja, you have dressed well, I'm okay. Mm-hmm. Then you want to pick the children mm-hmm. koneshana. Mm-hmm. Labda hey, on that day atakuwa me. Mm-hmm. I'm doing well. Mm-hmm. You're not doing well. Mm-hmm. Your person is away. Mm-hmm. Don't prolong that silent. Mm-hmm. Even if you are to take a break. Mm-hmm. Make sure you are you are keeping in touch. Mm. For ladies, <laughs> don't deny the man to see the kids, mm. because uh, there is that tendency. Mm. I would uh, there are days that I would call, achukui mm-hmm. simu. So na onata achukui ni onge na watoto wangu. Say on watoto wangu I want to talk to them. Mm. Try and keep in touch, mm. no matter how much. It's hurting between the two of you. Mm. Remember there are kids yeah. between you. Mm. Don't bring them into this mm-hmm. fight of yes. yours. Mm. Uh, this, this I've discovered because mm. one of the people that brought us together was our, our kids. Mm. Because any time now a father comes to visit the children, or you pick them. Mm. The children are so innocent, mm. they want you to go out as a family. Mm. Sasa nyinyi grown-ups, family. <laughs> but the children can insist even we want to do a photo. Daddy kujapa mom especially today's kid, they know how to, yes. <laughs> to do so to many selfies. Yeah. Yeah. So nindo mnajua but kumbe the more you are also visiting them in endelea ku soften up 
both of our hearts mm. because uh, we are we are only we took our vows a month ago mm -hmm. and uh, believe me the softening mm -hmm. started over the covid period mm -hmm. i'm one of the people that i can say covid mm -hmm. was a blessing for me yeah. <laughs> because out of covid mm -hmm. i had to visit them severally now mm -hmm. before covid i would visit them once a year mm -hmm. when covid came in and now she's in the house with the kids throughout mm -hmm. What other one is actually <laughs> They are so noisy. They are mm -hmm. jumpy. Mm -hmm. Now she would call me, mm -hmm. and I started visiting them so much. Mm -hmm. I got an opportunity. She gave me the kids for more than a month. Wow. Wachukue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So things softened up. Wow. Pride ka teremuka chini, and now you are starting to come back to sense pole pole. Mm -hmm. So keeping in touch. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Atakama, you separated. You separated. Yeah. Just yeah. know how you are going to keep mm -hmm. in touch. Wow. Uh, wow. I want mm -hmm. us to take a short break. And as we come back, uh, Carol will pick it from here. Uh, and now we want to listen to your restoration journey. How you guys now came back together. Yes. And key thing here, do not prolong that silence if you're separated i mean keep it cool do not prolong that silence this is couple zulu show and this is where we write down our love when mm -hmm. we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under and we are listening to the amazing love story they are real and they are open if you've just joined us they are sharing their testimony of how they separated for 10 good years. And tonight, as they, they are here, they are back together and doing life together. What a story! Let's continue listening to this amazing story. So how, how was the restoration? Or how did you come back? Mm, like you said, and through prayers, people had been praying and God's time, mm -hmm. but most specifically through our children mm -hmm. and our daughter, Favor. Mm -hmm. You remember we, we found God's favor in our wedding? Mm -hmm. The same favor is the one who was restoring this marriage. Mm -hmm. Because how did you name me? Because you found God's favor in our wedding and you're not together. She started during those visits of COVID 2020. So your daughter is asking you that no, question? No, no, no. I'm, okay. I'm, 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 ah, okay, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I get it. I'm saying she mm -hmm. was named because we found God's favor yes. in our wedding. Mm. And later on, she's the same one God used to challenge us, mm -hmm. to bring us back together. Because mm -hmm. at the age of 11, uh, that's 2020, mm -hmm. when, when, when Moses, started visiting quite often because a whole year they didn't go to school. They were just indoors. Mm -hmm. I was also working from home. We had that time. And an awakening. You know, people didn't know he's going to die next of COVID. So you had to put your way right. He forgot to tell you he's breaking everything. <laughs> just in case he's cold. <laughs> well. so yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> so now... Uh -huh. He was fulfilling his parental duties. Yes. So he would really visit and also take them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whenever he was around fun enough, <laughs> he would, he would, uh, we had matured as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And COVID was an awakening for everybody. You are mm -hmm. making everything in order just in case you're the unchosen to go. Yeah. Yeah. So even spiritually, we were, we were closer to God. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to have enemies. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he was, uh, we were no longer enemies, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so during his visit, mm -hmm. we would talk, chat after having lunch, and the, uh, our daughter would, did not understand. I see these people talking mm -hmm. nicely to each other, mm -hmm. and uh, she didn't understand why, at the end of the day, the father goes away. We are not a family in short. Mm -hmm. It started disturbing her. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a light 
uh, matter. One time when Moses visited and she said, today we are going to have a family meeting. I thought, no, this is girl drama. called Favor. Favor. <laughs> and I thought, uh, family, are we a family anyway? Mm. Mm. Family, all of us. And she stopped everything, switched on the TV, switched off. Mm. And said she's the one who's chairing the meeting. Then she said, my brother and I, Joshua and I, have been wondering why we are not a family. Today we want to know, why don't we live together? That's where the story began, as as a, a simple meeting. They persisted and she persisted. Girls expressed themselves. She persisted in knowing she wanted to know why we are not a family. Where is the problem? And she was like, we start with you, Dad. What is this problem that cannot be solved? <laughs> you know, now they've grown up, they can express themselves mm. 11 years. The dad stammered. <laughs> <laughs> next, mom. The dad was like, I, I, maybe he'll, he'll answer next time. Then I was like, eh. uh, I even sweated. I didn't know what to answer. <laughs> and he just said, anyway, adults get their challenges. And those are for adults. No, we want to know. Anyway, after the father left, she was so affected. And she kept saying, I want us to be a family. It persisted so much that I had to seek for consultation from, from spiritual authorities. I called different people, including pastors. Fast forward. No, one time, what made me to consult even further? Until I even called Moses and I said, hey, things are so bad. Mm. She would even cry mm. because she's in a stage. Now she was able to express how she has been piling the separation mm. and affected her. In school, people call dad, my dad did this. My dad is not staying with her. She would reason. Both of them confessed how it affects them not to have a, their father and parents together. So anyway... This really affected, I consulted. One time, what made me to consult even more is uh, when I found out that she had written a letter. It was COVID, they were not in school. One time she was busy writing. And I was really closely monitoring her because I'm around, she's around here in the house. And uh, I'm seeing she's affected emotionally. So one time I asked her, what is it you are writing? Then she was hiding that, whatever she was. I insisted, I'm your friend, and we are friends. Mm. She likes saying, mother and daughter, to the bedroom, we go and talk as girls, and mm -hmm. she has an issue. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, I thought you were girlfriends. Then she allowed me to read the letter, and it broke my heart. She had written to thank God for protecting us during COVID, but one question she was, and also bringing her father during COVID. COVID was a negative and positive, mm -hmm. because the father came. But one question to God was why the father has refused to live with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that made me humble myself. I even, I didn't tell Moses there was a letter that had been, she told me it's a secret, never tell mm -hmm. my daddy. Mm -hmm. This is my letter to God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God, why is my father refused? She did not want even to show me, so I didn't want to, to breach the confidentiality. But I, I had to ask Moses, we meet out, and I said, you know, your daughter is really being affected. I'm ready for you to come back, even if it means us being roommates, you know. Mm -hmm. We are not together, but mm -hmm. for the sake of her, just yeah. feeling parents, mm -hmm. because, you know, that was the eighth year or ninth, eighth, 2020 year. And you know, those are years, it's like dating afresh. Mm -hmm. You don't even have feelings. You mm -hmm. move down emotionally. Mm -hmm. So I told Moses, I'm ready, please. I've humbled myself because I can't stand seeing my daughter suffering. And he, he had his stand, I will co-parent, I'll be active, I'll be there. But I'm not ready to come. And... Uh, I went back. In fact, I told my, my favor that I'm going to see dad and see if he can come back. I tried, but that time it was not the right time. And I think I also had the wrong motive because the marriage we came to learn later, marriage is the two of you. Children are a blessing. Mm -hmm. 
So you want to come for wrong reasons because your children want their father back and you want to be roommates, it won't work. You would end up so I believe God was uh, preparing until the feelings come. Anyway, we, the way he said he would be very active in co-parenting, we had so many things together. He would always be there for the children. The children were growing up. The 12th birthday, they say they don't want easy birthdays at home. They wanted us to go out so that they can have a birthday with their father, which they had never had. They had just the first and I think the second birthday. Mm. Third, of which yeah. they were very young. Very yeah. young. Mm. So they do, to them, they've never had mm. a birthday. Mm. So we went out, and as we went out, we looked like one beautiful. I could see even other ladies envying and us. And I was like, inside <laughs> me, I was like, I wish they knew. This is how people post things on status. You look at. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, I wish I can tell you, uh, it's courteous of, courtesy of our daughter. Yes. These children have pushed me to come out mm -hmm. with their father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like plastic. It's mm -hmm. for their, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we started doing so many of these outings, and mm -hmm. then they capitalized on those outings. They maximized, they would, my daughter would want surprise for daddy, surprise for me, and I want you to be there, and she, he was obediently there. Mm -hmm. And uh, because he was so good to us, as a lady, when a man is good to you, your ladies out there, mm -hmm. yeah, is that not true? When men are good to you, they give you attention, you yeah. fall in love. Mm -hmm. That is what happened. Mm -hmm. I was beginning to like him. That, this happened in 2020 when he totally refused to just co-parent. Mm -hmm. 2021, I, in fact, I said, I told my, my, the children, we'll fast away from you. Father, because he has confused us. I was mad at him. Why are, why are you making uh, favor so sad and you're not coming? The more you're in his life, the more she wants us to be a family. So 2021, my resolution was no Moses in our life. We are going back to those years. Mm -hmm. We tried it, didn't work. I, told, I sat the children down, I told them, we'll be like the way we used to be. You are not with that uh, daddy, but we're okay. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. And they said, yeah, it's okay. But children are just pleasing you. They'll be children. Then mm -hmm. they started talking, oh, when you're a dad, when we visit, we cook. I realized they were missing him. So 2021, mm -hmm. he came I, again I, later in the year, like March. I told him the children want to. I'd already stopped him and he was annoyed from being in touch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then again, I told him, oh, the children are. Uh, and I got a molika for them talk to your children for me. Mm -hmm. I tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he tried to talk to them, visited, was so nice, so nicer, so nicest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's such a word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very humble, very God. God had worked on him. So he was very, very good. So 2021 was my year. I wanted him to come back. And by the uh, where I come from, I think we don't mean so hard. When I, I want something, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. So I told him, you know, 2020, your daughter really wanted you. But I've just, because I realized, what? In fact, I had to ask God, what is happening to me? I'm beginning to like this guy. What? Mm -hmm. After all those years. So I told him. And uh, he appreciated the fact that I, I told him, I, it's me who want you back in our family, but he said he was a work in progress. God was working in him. And uh, I gave him that time, I was disappointed. It's like a lady has told you how they feel. And yet he's the one who hunted me those yeah, days. Yeah. Now it's my turn mm -hmm. and he's not taking anyway. That is how it started. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, people were really praying. Praise what worked here, yeah? using favor favors letter was being answered because I didn't ever know I would ever have feelings for him. I'd moved on. Suddenly God puts feelings in me and crushes him, makes him humble and nice to me. If he wasn't nice, I wouldn't have fallen in love. Mm. So God used the children mm. and used many other ways. And uh, some children, some couple we mentor, they went all the way to states. 
heard of a couple that had been separated for so many years. They had been praying for us. She came back, shared with me in the meantime. All these things were happening together. Shared with me about a couple that had been separated for like 20 years, old people, mm -hmm. and they were back together. She bumped into them, and then she was like, when I heard them, I remembered you. So she started praying for us, and they organized for some surprise meetings, mm -hmm. like birthday party for the husband, and he said, can Moses come? Mm -hmm. When I told Moses, you know, so and so, that he meant I wanted us to attend birthday party, he came. He was always yes. Mm -hmm. He was so nice not refusing. Mm -hmm. They were staff headed during this time, but this time it was very, very soft yeah. and nice. Mm -hmm. So all those things brought together. Then uh, they were, that couple were organizing all these things just to try and bring us. To, things were just working in place, falling in place mm -hmm. without us even knowing. Mm -hmm. People are praying also. The people mm -hmm. we had consulted, and lastly, the pastor even tried to have a sitting, a pastor friend of ours. Mm -hmm. When I said uh, our daughter is so affected, the pastor organized for a meeting with Moses to try and say, why don't you go back to the family? But he had his stand, he said, they left. They are the ones who left. <laughs> I'm ready. I don't want to go through that episode again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so this pastor finally was was also praying when Moses refused to listen to him all this year from 2020. Told me, I met Moses, but let's give him time. It may not be six months. It may be one year. It may be two years, and it ended up being from 2020 uh, around March COVID time. So it ended up being 2020, 2022. When he told me it, it's a work in progress, mm -hmm. and I remember when he was dating me the first time, he said that God had told, he was praying to God to ask me out on it, to tell me that he's the right man. And God told him, he felt in his spirit, these are social things. So when he was saying it's a work in progress, I pray. I told him, what are we praying for? You are the very one who, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So all those things happened together. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, we met. I went and met with him. And uh, when we met, I told him uh, that what, what I've just explained, that I just want to know. Uh, this is how I've been feeling. This is what. And then only for he, for me to learn that all this while he was also having some feelings and p playing a man tough. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he had seen our photos and what. Mm. God had brought, a neighbor bought our wedding photos, first wedding photos, and had given him. After all those 10 years, when he looked at them, it brought all the love memories. So God was preparing. So we, we talked, we agreed that it is possible for us to go back together, but we are seek for guidance from pastor. This pastor who had been praying, so we broke the news to him for to guide us, and he, he counseled with us and said, 10 years has been a long time, so what we'll do? You people have to renew. Vows are covenants cannot be broken just like that. Mm. So we did our renewal of the vows, which was a lovely wedding. It was a wedding, actually, oh. small, but lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When was that? 25th of February. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. glorious. Yeah, yeah. Glory Very glorious. Glory. Again, glorious, but at least favor was there with Joshua. Yes. They were able to witness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it turned out to be a lovely wedding. Mm -hmm. So that is how we are restored. God brought put pieces together, things to mm -hmm. remind us, photos mm -hmm. of the wedding. I don't know what. Favors mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. Actually, we God restored us through our daughter, mm -hmm. her letter to God. The people I shared with prayed and challenged God and said, if you don't answer, what will she become as a big girl like uh, our audience out there? Yeah, those girls I'm sure who are watching, if you are from a dysfunctional family, you would think, oh, marriage can't work. I've written a letter to ask God. So... God answers prayers of children. So basically our children and our daughter's letter mm -hmm. is the one that brought us and prayers of people. Wow. Yes. Wow.
That's the touching, touching story, touching story. And as we wake up, yeah. uh, you've you've been restored back. Yeah. There was a wedding. Yeah. How is the life? The new life. The new life. It's two months now. Yeah, one, one month. month. One, one month. month. Yeah. You're celebrating your your first month anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God of another chance. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about that. Every wider. Yeah, everything is sweeter. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and more mature now. Yes, I think uh, <laughs> uh, things are getting better. Mm -hmm. But I say again, we we have matured mm -hmm. spiritually, physically. Mm -hmm. We I will mention one pastor, mm -hmm. Pastor Elias from Sitam. Mm -hmm. He came to our life uh, divinely, mm -hmm. and he helped <coughs> to walk with us together with the wife, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we had several sittings with them, and the sitting really helped us because uh, he told us those vows stand. That's why when you all went separate ways, mm. you never had peace. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought of uh, getting married, uh, but Vitu Zinagonga Ukuta too. So the counseling he gave us really helped. Now that we are now back on this horse again of marriage, which is sweet and good. Mm. I, the challenges are still there. Mm. We must be realistic. Yeah. Challenges are there. They will never change. Mm. But now, how do you handle these things? Mm. Uh, I will mention one thing that, has, that is helping us mm. right now. Mm. Uh, everyone has weaknesses. Mm. Uh, there's this illustra illustration that the pastor was using this is one couple, this is, uh, this is one individual, mm -hmm. and this is the other one. Mm -hmm. The tip of the fingers are your, your strong points, mm -hmm. and down here are your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. When you come together, mm -hmm. you join hands. Yes. It's so tight that it can also hold water. Mm -hmm. Now, her weaknesses, mm -hmm. and to me are strong points, Zango. Mm -hmm. My weaknesses, mm -hmm. I use her strong points. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are growing together now. We are doing devotion together, praying together. Mm. We are laying plans together. Mm. We, we were told to make it intentional mm. this time. Mm. You must challenge each other in talking. Wow. That whisper, make it so loud for her to hear. Naskia whisper, flani kisema hivi. Let her know mm. so that you can deal with that issue there. Yes. Because when you start thinking so much, and you are keeping to your corner, mm. it will develop mm. to something that you can't handle. Mm. So the one month has been sweet. Yes. And uh, I believe 10 years from today, mm -hmm. I'll still be next to this lovely girl of mine. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this should take a, another direction and have a third episode. We need to plan. You guys, you must come very soon. We need to continue with this story because I'm told that our time is <laughs> Imagine, it's such a sweet story. And uh, because our time is up, I, I must allow you to go. But I'm going to have you back soon because I feel like you need to come and speak to couples out there. I know marriages are going through stuffs and you need to come and speak to couples out there but before you go now that you're you're celebrating your first month <laughs> after how should i call it now the wilderness experience <laughs> yes after the wilderness experience you're celebrating your first anniversary i want to give you free airtime and i want you to look at each other Mm -hmm. Turn, turn, just turn. <laughs> turn. Okay, turn. Yeah. Turn. Nataka mm uangalie -hmm. kwa macho. Angalia ni kwa macho. Angalia, mimi siko sasa. Mimi nimeshaona. Kama unaweza mshika ni sawa. Mhm. your love. Mhm. Angalia na kwa macho. Mhm. Mm and we we'll start with Moses. Yeah. I want you to speak to your wife. Yeah. And I mean, the words that will come from your heart. 
Okay. I don't know what to tell her, mm. but it's your time. Okay. Uh, Carol, you know I love you. Yes. You're sure? Yes. Okay. I'm here to assure you. I'm ready to work with you, no matter what challenges are ahead of us. This time, Nikonda Nikambisa. I'm ready to hang in there and to work it out. Yeah, and I'm looking forward for another 10 years as we make more babies. This time I want to see them growing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> you done? Yeah, I'm done. Carol, it's your turn. Moses Gadera. My sugar pine. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. In fact, uh, the second phase of our work is sweeter. It's glorious. And I really thank God. I will never leave you. Like the vows we made, mm -hmm. only death will part us. I will never, never depart from you. Believe in me. I love you so much. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Lovely. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you for being open and real. And uh, I believe through your story, there's a marriage that has been healed. So thank you so much. And soon, I'm going to invite you back. Because we need such people who have gone through real issues. You see now, when you're speaking to couples out there, you're speaking out of experience. Yeah. It's, it's not theory, it's not some things that you have Googled. It is what you have gone through. Yeah. And this is an encouragement to, me, to many couples out there. Yeah. So I wish you all the best. And may the Lord bless your union and may the Lord bless your marriage. Yeah. You continue growing stronger and stronger in love. May there be nothing that will ever come between the two of you. Yeah. Not yeah. family, not even children. Yeah. God bless you. Thank and you. And so thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Uh, really appreciate thank you. Yeah. Yes. It was nice. Yes. Mm. It was a lovely session. <laughs> yes. Thank you yeah. so much. Yes. Thanks. And that marks to the end of tonight's show. What a way to end the show. And what a way to end the month. Yes, we are saying we're headed to the month of April. So thank you so much for your love. Thank you for the support. Keep following us. If you're out there and you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. You can also follow us on all our social media platforms. Wema TV. We are on Facebook, Instagram. Follow us. You can also follow me on Facebook as Willy Kinyash underscore Kapo's Will. And also on TikTok. Yes, I'm there. And also IG. Angalia Willy Kinyash underscore Kapo's Will. God bless you and God bless your marriage. This is Kapo's Will Show and this is where we write down our love with when we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. I'm your host, Willie Kinyash, the undisputed Naukipenda, Dr. Love. And this is Wema TV, the voice of hope. Good night.